Hey, good morning, Dylan. Uh, Stuart Long, I just want to take a look at your electric bill. It looks like you're using 1,100 kilowatts. Monthly bill for December was, uh, here, was 141. So I was trying to zoom in. I couldn't, qu I know you took a phone screenshot and it just wasn't legible. Um, I need to be able to read these numbers right here. But if, if this was 1,100 kilowatts, then for this month, that's an 1100 if we follow this over you got one two more of those and then you told me the rest of the months average about 830 so what I'll do is I just went ahead here and put in 830 let's get this back to zero here um, so I put 830 in for all the months and uh, <clears throat> except for of course the last month was 1100 and then you had two more so that gives us a little more accurate um, idea about your 12 month usage here. So 12 month usage looks like you use about 11,000 kilowatts a year. Um, and that's without in-laws that probably be more if they're going to be staying because <clears throat> excuse me if you if 1100 is your normal you're actually using 13,000 but We'll just stick with uh, your 830 that you were talking about. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Right now, you are paying how much solar do you have? Um, your solar offset is zero. Your power payment is 100%. So all your money is going to the solar, uh, to, I'm sorry, to AEP. So we looked at that. <clears throat> let's see. $141 uh, dollars a month. So let's see. If we got you, let's say, well, let's quickly talk about um, your average bill. If we take this and divide it by 12, your usage divided by 12, we know that the um, average bill is 115. You had said it's about 100 a month to 115. Okay, so that tells us that um, <clears throat> your average use of 898 kilowatts divided by that is. It's uh, 12 cents, 13 cents a kilowatt hour with all the junk fees from AEP. So if I ask you about your house, do you own your house or do you rent it? You probably own it. Do you own your car? Do you rent your car? You own that. Do you own your furniture? Or do you, do you lease it from rent -a center You probably own that too. So it looks like you're an owner mentality, but uh, if I ask you if you own your power, you probably have to admit that you rent it. You probably send that $115 a month out the door and get nothing for it. And then if I ask you if you're getting equity for every one of those $115 payments that you make, you'd probably say, uh, no, we don't get any equity. We just pay the electric bill to keep the lights on. So the whole point today, we want to get you ownership and equity in your house so that you own your power production facility and you're building equity for every one of these $115 payments. So what we do, if you're going to pay cash, that's great. We prefer cash deals. It's just so much easier. Um, but a lot of people, they don't have that money. So what we do is we just take them, re repurpose the amount you're paying an electric bill that's not getting you uh, the ownership and the equity. And we repurpose it to a, uh, usually a loan that fits your monthly payment. So for you, paying 100% out the AEP, if we got you, let's say, 20 panels up there, we could offset, solar becomes blue. So we'd offset uh, about 80% of your usage. Uh, and reminder, you're using 10,770. Um, this would produce, um, a system size would probably be 6.6 .6 kilowatts in that in that range. Greg will perfect that when he comes out. This is just a prequal, but we that usually spins off about 8,500 kilowatts uh, a year to spend to um, basically offset that cost would be 21,450 for and if you're paying cash we might be able to shave off a little bit of that but normally people use the 20 year loan so that the monthly payments about hundred and seven dollars which is what you're used to paying you're gonna get a tax credit you said since you're w2 you're likely to get a six thousand four thirty five tax credit back as long as that's been withheld from your check, you can file with the receipt from buying from us. Um, we'll give you the, the forms you need. Uh, 6400 back, so really you're just going to pay 15000 for your system. 
And what happens there is since um, the, the rate of electricity in Ohio, it's gone up 30% over the last five years. So 30 divided by five is about 6%. Now I only use four, four and a half percent, just to be extra conservative. But what happens with your $115 bill is it's gonna start creeping up 120 a month, 126 a month, every year. 137 a month, 140. So when you get out 10 years, you're paying 171 a month. Um, we could have been 140, which is less. Of course, if you pay cash for the entire system, you're you start you you know you're only paying 18 dollars a month for solar because you or I'm sorry for your electric bill. You'll have a little bit of a power bill because you have to keep everything running at nighttime when there's no sun. Um, but uh, these these um, solar panels they pull through the clouds so they're gonna get UV all day so yeah what's gonna happen here let's go back here um, what happens as your your payment goes up nobody thinks about this but over 25 years this hundred and fifteen dollar payment it creeps on up to three hundred and thirty a month so over the next 25 years you end up spending sixty one thousand dollars with uh, our solar situation you'd only spend Thirty-seven thousand, <coughs> excuse me, and most of that would become equity. Uh, you'd have a little bit of a power payment, twelve thousand. So, with us, you'll spend thirty-seven. If you do nothing, you'll spend sixty-one thousand. We can save you about twenty-four thousand. Um, so instead of paying sixty, we'd like you to spend fifteen with us. You'll have a little bit of trickle for your power from AEP. So total. Um, Outgo is only 27 versus 63. That's going to save you 33,000, call it 34,000. But there's uh, something better with our situation. You do get equity. So uh, if you look at this article right here, this will show you that you actually build home equity when you have solar. So as this comes up here, How to measure home equity. So you can look at this on yellow light and it, it talks about your home equity. So um, let's close that. All right, so back here, basically your savings is 34,000 plus the home equity. Roughly your, your net um, benefit is about 55,000 versus doing nothing. So we'd like to get you started. Um, I'll get Greg out there. He needs to do a site audit, but I think I looked at your house. Let's take a quick peek here. Looks like you have a, uh, a pretty good situation. I think I picked at it before. Let's double check. Yeah, okay, so if that's your house, um, Getting on in there. Yeah, so you're facing south. Your roof is facing south. That's excellent. Um, that's exactly what you want. Um, so if this is north up here, we can put the solar array in the backyard. That's the easiest way to do it. But we can also put it right on this, uh, on the house facing south. You want to face south because the sun does a pattern like this all year. So if it goes, you know, it'll hit this all the time. Looks like you have a tree. There might be a little shading when the sun sets. This it might hit this tree on your roof, so this would be the perfect location. Um, but if you know this is great, and you have a tree here, so you might want to consider cutting the tree down to get 100% usage out of it. These, if that's a tree, I can't really tell. But um, looks like a pretty good situation for solar on this house right here. And you want to be facing an angle um, not, that's not steep and looks like you have a, a not steep angle. Wow, that was weird. Oh, so here's the house. Okay. So all these houses have, are, have a really, really, um, really low angle. So you do have some trees for shading if that's you. All right. Well, that's it in a nutshell. Looks like you cost uh, your pro system would be about twenty one thousand four fifty if you did the loan. 6% <clears throat> over 20 years, 150 would be the uh, initial payment, but they're only going to charge you 107, and they'll give you 16 months to file for your tax credit and drop that in on the loan, leaving the remaining amount at 15. 
So if you just want to stroke a check, it'd be for $21,450. If you're paying cash, we can probably give you an extra discount. Uh, I'll send Greg out there. Just let me know what's the best day to get him out there this week. If today works, let me know. But usually 48-hour notice is good. So give me a call at 614-783-7746. Okay? Thanks, Dylan.